Welcome to Sounding Board, a presentation of Seroptimist International in Novato, whose mission it is to improve the lives of women and girls through programs leading to social and economic empowerment. I'm Freda Kaplan, and today we're going to have a program about water aerobics, aqua aerobics for older adults, the title of the classes, and it's at College of Marin, both at Kentfield campus and at IVC, Indian Valley campus of the college. And today we have three guests with us from one of the classes. We have Maxine Fong, we have Carmel Diamond, and Carol Vietz, who are going to be talking with us about their class, Water Aerobics. And I'd like to start by talking to Maxine. Um, how long have you been attending this class? Um, let's see, I, about 18, 18 years, yeah. Wow. And has it helped you particularly? It has. Uh, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's part of keeping myself fit. That's a big part of it. So it has. It's basically uh, got me to where I, what I would call a functionally fit. And, and that's like, and physically, it's kept my flexibility. It's given me, uh, you know, sustained my, the strength that I have, and also endurance just to keep up with things. And uh, so, you know, definitely. Yeah, and socially too, because I get to meet a lot of people. So, you know, the class has many benefits besides physical. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. And um, so it's different on water in water than on land exercising. Do you think? Oh, definitely. You know, in 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 the water, it's a really it's just a supportive environment. Your body's being supported. Uh, you you're able to do things in the water uh, that on land is more difficult. The range of motion is greater in the water. Um, you also have. Uh, you're not so fearful of getting hurt. So when we're doing balancing stretches in the water, you're not so worried about falling and, and hurting yourself because the water is there just holding you up. So uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, like night and day, the difference. Carmel, how did you start coming to the class? Well, I used to belong to a gym. And uh, to be honest, it got sort of boring, walking on the treadmill, endless miles and not going anywhere. And as I told these, my friends here, I even fell off once and caused quite a stir in the gym. <laughs> and the other thing, the weight machines, they're very beneficial, but it's a, it's a lonely place, especially an older woman in the gym. Uh, you don't get much help from those young trainers. So my daughter knew that I wanted to do something outside and she heard about this class and she told me about it. So uh, in, uh, I've been coming since 2000. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And how about you, Carol? Uh, I started about uh, 20 years ago almost with water aerobics, but I had been doing lap swims in the uh, college program but you could only take the lap swim a couple times and then you couldn't take it anymore. And this was after I retired and I loved to swim. So I had taken the lessons to learn how to swim properly because I never knew how to swim. I could swim, but I was not a, I didn't know how to do the strokes that you need or to breathe properly. So when that class was over, somebody suggested I try the community ed class, which was a water aerobics class. And I thought, oh, that would be fun. So I started that, and I think there are about 20, and Maxine, you were mm -hmm. with me in that one. Oh, yeah. And I think there were about 20 of us that started, men That's and women. It. Yeah. 
And uh, it was a very stimulating thing because we were doing exercises in the water and we all wanted to keep fit. And so uh, I would go to every class that I could. And sometimes they had two classes a week, sometimes four. And that's when I met you in the uh, Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, mm -hmm. Wednesday. So Maxine started with me and uh, they were gonna do away with the class at the College of Marin, and we were so chagrined because the woman mm -hmm. couldn't yeah. uh, do it anymore. Yeah. She, it was a woman at that time. So we said, well, why can't you find somebody to teach us? I mean, you have a lot of teachers there. So we marched on the community ed and we said, we want somebody that can teach us. So they reinstated, and that was when they found Russell. And if they hadn't found him, we might not have had this yeah, class. class. And yeah. we've been with him now for, what did you say, Maxine? 16. It's about 16 years. 16 yeah. years. 14 yeah. years. Yeah. So it's been an ongoing thing, and we have made so many friends and learned so much about other people and their problems, and we share our problems and commiserate with each other <laughs> quite a bit because we all have problems at this age. But it's fun, too, and I love right. the water. Mm -hmm. And has it benefited your health in any particular way? Yes, I think it has because um, I was never uh, very athletic, but I could do in the water what I couldn't do on land. And I love the water, like Carmel, and, and it just makes me feel good. And then mentally, it's more stimulating. You're talking to people. If you're mm -hmm. doing laps, that isn't a, a social thing. It's like her on the treadmill. So I've just enjoyed it immensely with meeting the people, getting the exercise, and it has helped. It originally, it helped to get my blood pressure down. Oh, that's so interesting. So that was very beneficial. Yeah, the exercise. Mm -hmm. And you had mentioned that it's in the community ed department yes. at the College of Marin. Right, mm -hmm. not so a credit class. You can't find it in the catalog in the regular part. No. You do need to look in community ed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they call it the Emeritus Program? Is well, that's, that's, that's the sponsor. The, yeah. that's oh, the sponsor. Yeah. Uh, but it is yeah. community education. Yeah. And they put out a booklet. And that's how many people learned about it and then word of mouth. Now I think we have something like 70 people who sign up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And so it, that it, is and wonderful. And there's two sites and 70 just in Kenfield. Yes, That's I just think in so. Kenfield. Yeah. And uh, up at Indian Valley, when, when we started Indian Valley, uh, it was uh, 2009? That's when I when, recall. Yeah. yeah. When the pool closed. Yeah, when the Kenfield. pool closed, when we started up there, <clears throat> the class mainly were people from Kenfield. And only seven people from Nevada showed up. That's right. So, oh, that's for, and, and, f and during this time, we now, the f entire class is almost people from uh, Nevada. So that's really, uh, 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 you know, just a good, just, it's just a good class to have up there too. Community. Yeah. yeah. Yes. If, and, and that's how they, yeah, same thing. Like what Carol was saying, you know, word of mouth and and Russell is our instructor, and he teaches in both classes. So it's one, one, one day here and one day there, and it's now down to two days a week, mm -hmm. unless we want to sign up and go up to Indian Valley, too. But that's quite a stretch for some of us. I understand, though, people come from as far away as Bolinas and... Um, Inverness. 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 Yeah. Wow. That's and, a commitment. And doesn't Christy come from uh, Lag not Lagunitas? Fairfax, I think. Oh. Or maybe farther yeah. out. Yeah. A, a, a little bit further. Woodacre. 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 Yes. Woodacre. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So and some of the people from Indian Valley still come down here. Kathy does. Sausalito. Yeah. I live in Sausalito, yeah. and I live in Mill Valley. But uh, it's, it's a, just a perfect thing for our age, I think. People were coming from Sonoma County, I believe, too, driving all the way to Nevada. Well, to Nevada is not yes. so Petaluma. Yeah, Petaluma. they come. They, yeah, we uh, we have a couple of uh, uh, yeah, yeah students from Petaluma. Yeah, no, they they come. Yeah, people need it. People appreciate uh -huh. it. Yeah. Oh, and how? As you said, where would would you all be without it? No. It's and the fact that it's outdoors. Exactly. That's the beauty of it. And we look out at Mount Tam. <laughs> Who could ask him for anything yeah. better? Yeah. You look at Mount Tam and you see that beautiful Mount Tam and 
we look at each other and say, we're so lucky to be here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. It's true. It is. Mm -hmm. And doesn't but the indoor pool smell and um, the oh, sort the of chlorine and oh, yes, we yeah. don't like indoor pools. <laughs> so that's nice that you get to be out yeah. in nature. And well, you know, another thing that I really enjoy is that um, the buoyancy of the water. And and I read someplace a long time ago that when you're in the water. Uh, that you only weigh uh, ninety percent of your weight. Yeah, when so, who, yeah, so if you weigh one hundred and forty pounds good, in the yeah. water, you're about eighteen pounds, and that's really nice. Yeah. Plus, I have a lot of joint problems, and in the water, nothing, oh, nothing hurts. Doesn't yeah. hurt. Nothing yeah. hurts. It supports I couldn't it. do those things on, on land. Mm. So running in the water isn't painful. Mm. Not at all. Mm. Mm. And I think another thing that's so great about this class. You're not competing with each other to say who can go faster, who can do mm -hmm. all the movements, and mm -hmm. and that's one of the nice things. Everything is at your own pace. Some days you might really run faster. Some days you sort of float. Around. Yeah. That's yeah. the wonderful part yeah. about it. And it's okay. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not competitive. Not at all. Mm -hmm. No. Another point I wanted to make out was when I was working out in the gym, Nobody smiles. They're so serious. And when you come to the pool here, everybody says good morning. And if you miss a couple of days, oh, where were you? Or somebody calls. Mm -hmm. Just the most wonderful, warm feeling. And so mentally, you always leave that class just with just a good thought. And so, you know, that benefit in itself is, is so important. Yeah. That's a good point. It's and it's mood changing, mood changing. So we've been talking about some of the other benefits of water aerobics, aqua aerobics. Um, besides physical exercise and getting a lot of energy from it, um, you mentioned that being in the water, it's supportive and um, it doesn't hurt to run and people with bad knees can uh, exercise in the water, mm -hmm. whereas on land they probably couldn't. So there is a difference between uh, dry land and, and water. Um, you're able to run, you said? You, you have? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can run in the water. And uh, another thing that I think is so beneficial is in the water, you can uh, exercise longer. And uh, your body stays cool, and you, uh, you don't... Uh, I don't think you feel this. You don't feel the stress is what I'm trying to say, I mm -hmm. think. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't get bored. And, and there's so much um, s social that's going on there. People are supportive and yes. friendly. You get to um, meet new people. There's camaraderie. You can share things that you have in common. Well, and as I said, I live alone, so it's very important, uh, the camaraderie. and. Over the weekends, I really look forward Mondays to go to class to see everybody, and it's very social. And uh, I've also made other friends that I see outside of the class, which is very important mm -hmm. because as my at my age, I've lost a lot of my longtime friends, so it's important to meet new people. And there's quite a large pool, pardon the pun, <laughs> of. Uh, potential friends exactly there. Oh. exactly 70 people in the class you're bound to meet somebody right that, yeah. that you have something in and common then we with. always get new people coming and we get in. new people yeah it's continuous that's yeah. wonderful yeah yeah word of mouth works yeah it does we call it our social club uh, married and have a husband and kids but the people you meet there are your contemporaries mm -hmm. so it's a wonderful relationship that we establish and it keeps us alert, and we talk about different problems or different uh, events. Mm -hmm. So it's a positive thing. I come away always energized. I don't get tired, even though my legs will get tired. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm energized, and I want to get going and do something else then. That's wonderful. Yeah. So it's, there are many levels of benefits Yes, in this there are. Absolutely. Well, and, and also because they are, we're always talking and sharing, I think there's this network that happens. Uh, and when I say network, it could be if you have an issue and you just share it with someone, they say, oh, I know. 
have you tried this and try that, yes. or I know someone, or you're looking for, well, you know, like, who do you see? And it just gives us more input uh, as to, you exactly. know, yeah, someone else, another, another thing to do, yeah. That we do can. pass along. We yes. talk a lot, but we do pass along it, a lot yeah, of good information yeah, yes, too. Yeah. So yeah, and we yeah. empathize then with each other. And I think so I know it's a support we, group. We drive poor Russell crazy sometimes <laughs> with all of our conversations. <laughs> so you can walk and talk. <laughs> talking too much. Yeah. But as you say, that's beneficial too. It is. Uh -huh. You're yep. sharing. Yeah. You're not just that's right. Idly chatting. You actually can benefit from that too. Mm -hmm. Social. Support. Yeah. I think another good point of being in the water when we're running around in the beginning uh, for the cardiovascular, oh, the yes. water, uh, and I have high blood pressure also, and since I've been taking this class, I think my blood pressure is uh, uh, under control a lot more. I do take medication also, but the combination of the two have helped. It's not as high as it used to be. and. Uh, okay cardiologist is okay with it so that makes me happy excellent sure. yeah. so it's good for um, high cholesterol it's good for exactly. high yes. blood pressure all sorts of things and what she said about the cardio is so important I think that's because very that's important. where the energy comes and the running and sometimes people get tired but they always feel good afterwards that's wonderful so yeah. it's a very active class oh yes a lot of the water exercise classes people stand still and move their arms or move their feet a little bit, but this is a one where you move. You, you have to because the momentum of the people in the class, you, you can't have, stand you still. Have, you yeah. have a, 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 almost like a surf. A current. A current, and you get caught in that, and then Russell will say, turn around, and you go back, and you have to fight that current with your hands mm -hmm. or with your legs. So it really stimulates mm -hmm. your whole uh, body. <laughs> so usually you think of a pool, the water is still, but yeah, this is no, not the case. No, no, no. Not, not it's this a class. Pool. Yes. Um, yeah, and at the deep class, end, yeah. it can get very deep for the uh, short people, and many of us are short. But you learn to deal with it. You can float. Just put your feet up and float. Yeah, float <laughs> around. But How you wonderful. can still use your arms and your upper body while you're doing that, so too. This different parts of the body, it's always working. You're always working yeah. when you're in there. So how long does this class last? Uh, about an hour is the actual uh, motion when, when, when it starts and, you know, starting with the warm-up and the actual class and then there's a short period of time when we're cooling down. So, uh, yeah, about an hour. Yeah. So all these benefits are happening for a long period of time, yeah. mm -hmm. an hour. And, and I want, the point I want to make also is that Russell does give exercises that do every part of our body from our yes. head to our toes. Yes. Really. When we stop, uh, or, but even when we're running, he's having us doing things with motioning with our arms and yeah. uh, we have our arms out of the water. And, but what I, I was thinking about it last night, I mean, we do things with our jaw, we do our <laughs> neck, do. we do everything. Yeah. And it is from head to toe. Literally. A total workout. It is yes, a total yeah. workout. And when we're standing still, we're still working. That's, what That's I, yeah. when we do balancing. Yes. Oh. Because when, when, when we have to stand on one side, one leg, stand on your left leg, uh, the other, the right leg is doing something because you know, we're either making circles with it or kicking it forward. Uh, you have to use your entire body to stay upright. And so even standing still, we're working the, the you know, our bodies. Yeah, so it's a, it's a total workout in a very nice way. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's fabulous. I, I recommend it for any I age. I do too. And, and many of the women who have come have started and they said, I never knew th about this class. And they're thrilled and then they tell other people and there isn't really an age limit, it's for older people, but mm -hmm. I mean, who, who knows? <laughs> older could be anything. Yeah, you don't, yeah. That's you right. don't that's right. ask people their age. You know, we share our age. Just not teenagers. No, that's right, no. And it's just a number anyway. 
Age yes. is just a number. There. That was my other point. What I love about being in the water is you're ageless in the water. Ah, yes. That's wonderful. Thank you. And it's always been soothing for me to be in the water. Yeah. If I don't feel bad and I'm in a bad mood or a funk, you, go to the you get in the water and mm -hmm. there's just something about the water. It's uplifting, what physically is? and yes. mentally. mentally. Yeah. Yeah. It's playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. But yeah, that's true. Uh, another point I wanted to bring out was that, uh, for me, uh, my metabolism has increased also. Aha. Uh -huh. I used to have a very low meta mm -hmm. metabolism that's rate. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So exercise can exercise. do that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's important to a lot oh, of us. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. and how. That's great. And are there any other things that you feel have improved since you're coming to class? Oh, I think so. I think that uh, <laughs> my stamina has improved a great deal. Yeah. After if you're working in an office all the time, you don't get that much chance to uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I have endurance. I have strength especially with my upper arms because we do a lot of upper arm exercises and you use a lot of muscles in your arms. So, and it's very beneficial for your back. Many people who have problems with their back come and they say that is what really helps them because you're doing something and getting pressure against your back, but it's not a painful thing, it's a soothing. You know, the water sort of massages you. <laughs> You're getting a gentle massage. Yeah. That's and what that you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> Another benefit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. We all should come here. Yeah. <laughs> should. Yeah. College of Marin, both campuses, mornings, five days a week, and in the winter, it's all, it's five days in the winter, Into four winter days time. Yeah. Yes. the other seasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't think we've ever mentioned uh, the shower room activities. <laughs> oh, in that shower room, in that shower room, you just sit there and listen to the chatter and the laughter, and everybody's in all different stages of dress and undress, <laughs> and it is wonderful. It is. It's just, it is, because sometimes I'll just say, listen to everybody in here. Everybody's had such a good time yes. in the pool, and the, go inside there, and it just continues. It's, it's, <laughs> and laughter and is laughter. the best. Yeah. medicine. Yeah. That's the most yeah. health, healthy part. There's nothing like a good laugh to, laugh to make you feel good. And we do laugh a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> I know when I walked by there, I, I've heard quite a lot of talking and laughing mm -hmm. and happiness. Yeah, it is. It, it is very, it's a very happy place, I think. It is. We wouldn't have all of this, though, without Maxine and Russell because they are the ones that hold, us, hold the whole thing yes. together. It's not your ordinary water exercise. It is not. No. No. It no. is not. Because some sober. people come thinking we're going to really stand in the water and just do exercises. Yeah. Yeah. It is not. Mm -hmm. You don't usually meet the other people in a, no. a water exercise no. class. Because I've not, been not to not other classes yeah. uh, where there, you go and it's very clicky and... Uh, it's done at a much faster rate. So you do feel, oh, really, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. But you never feel that in no. our class because you just do your own. And Maxine always says, when you feel you've had enough, you get out. You don't have sure. to stay to the end. Because I always complain about the cold in the winter. <laughs> and we do it in the wintertime, too. Yes. When it's very cold. When yeah. it's very cold. Yeah. And the rain. Yes. I don't do rain. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Rain but we do. She I does. do. But we I do. do. She does. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I won't miss a class unless there's something dramatic that happens in my life. <laughs> I won't. My kids have to work around my schedule because that's how I <laughs> live. That's, that's what keeps me going. That's true. It's, it's a very positive uh, experience. And I was thinking when you said, I've gone to other pools. Well, I have two, and I know there's one in particular, which is indoors, and most of them are. Some do open up windows and so on. But I went to one where it was so steamy and so hot, and it was for older people, 
And I thought, those people oh, need God. fresh air. <laughs> you're not getting any fresh air, and you're getting the fumes from the chlorine mm -hmm. or whatever they use mm -hmm. in the water. So this, you feel, you're getting fresh air all the time. You're not in an enclosed environment. And, and one other thing that none of us have mentioned is the music. Oldies from the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was fantastic. Ron Stewart, wasn't it? Uh, all kinds of music. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Oh, and but he today. plays different ethnic yeah. music, which is just very stimulating. It feels like you're dancing in the water. <laughs> so it's educational. Yes, you get absolutely. Music education. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. While you're moving. Yeah. If we if we listen instead of talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're receiving the music. That's yes. right. It's there. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but this about winds up our show. And we'll have to get back together again or meet in the water. And yes. we should invite everybody to come to the Community Ed uh, Aqua Exercise class at College of Marin, both campuses, Kent Field and IVC. And I want to thank you all, Maxine, Carol, Carol <laughs> and Carmel, for coming and being with us here on, on Sounding Board. And I want to thank our Seroptimus crew and our engineer, Leon Johnson, for their help with the production of Sounding Board. And by the way, you can see the shows that we've taped before. We have almost 100 shows archived on our Sounding Board web or part of the Sounding Board website, Seroptimist International of Novato. You can do a search for that and click on the tab for Sounding Board. And I, we have special thanks for the Buck Institute for Research on Aging for letting us use their wonderful studio. Thank you, viewers. <laughs>